he expounded all things to his disciples. You know, the fact that they're asking him and then he explains it kind of undoes the need for this next sentence. He expounded all things to his disciples because he actually does it in Matthew and Mark. There's no need to say that he's doing this. Unless this is for the reader's knowledge that he's doing this normally. During all the parables, he explains them to the disciples. So what should I do? I could just continue. When they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. They that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. I know. I could say they asked him. He explained everything. And said the explanation. So it's saying that he's giving the explanation and then he actually gives the explanation. That'll fit. So before I say he expounded all things to his disciples, I'll say they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. So I need to mix that with Matthew 13, 10. And the disciples came and said to him, Why speak you to them in parables? And also from Luke. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? The disciples came and said to him. So I'm going to have to put that first. The disciples came to him. Not just that the disciples asked him, but first they came to him. So I could say, they that were about him with the twelve came and asked him. Or I could put, they came that were with him. They came that were, no, that doesn't make sense. They came that were with him with the twelve. No. They that were about him with the twelve came and asked of him the parable. That's how it has to be. So it has to begin with the words from Mark. They that were about him with the twelve. Ah, I remember earlier when he was choosing the twelve who he called apostles. There's a clear distinction between the disciples and the apostles. So I can do that by saying, and the disciples, and then I can skip over to Mark that were about him with the twelve back over to Matthew came and asked if in the parable Matthew Mark don't really say this but I can have it say that because it's already been defined earlier on the mount when he chooses the twelve he's saying the disciples were there and he chose twelve whom he called apostles and he would keep all the words they that were about him with the twelve Or I could say the disciples who were with the twelve asked him. Because obviously there's some others than just the twelve, since that's what is clearly said in Mark. They that were about him with the twelve. There's others, and those others are the other disciples. So I'm not mixing anything to say the twelve that are with him. Luke says, and his disciples asked him. So I could have it, and his disciples that were about him with the twelve came and asked of him the parable. Yeah, because the disciples who are not the twelve, they're still his disciples because they're not disciples of other people. They're disciples of Jesus. So they are his disciples. I could do that, and his disciples that were about him with the twelve. Yeah, that works. And instead of the disciples from Matthew, it'll be and his disciples from Luke. And all those words are going to be replacing they. When they were alone, his is only from Luke. His disciples also from Matthew. So Matthew and Luke. He expanded all things to his disciples. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't want to have to repeat his disciples twice. So I might say he expounded all things to them. Can I say them? Is there a them later on? 
why speak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He expounded all things and answered and said to them. Because answered and said to them is in Matthew. Luke says, and he said. There's no them, but it is in Matthew. Okay, so that would work. His disciples, back to Mark, that were about him with the twelve. Yeah, so all this is Mark. That were about him with the twelve. Now I have to say, came and asked of him the parable. Came and said to him, mm, No, it has to be asked. Why speak you to them in parables? Mark, they asked of him the parable. So that's pretty general. I can clear it up with what is said in Matthew or Luke. Luke says, what might this parable be? Okay, so two questions. Why speak you to them in parables? And then the question from Luke is, what might this parable be? Those are two very different questions. I think I'm going to have to put them both, which means I have to have an and before this what. I'm going to have asked him saying, what might this parable be? And why even say it at all? to them in parables. That, I think that's more natural. It's more natural to say, what does the parable mean? And not only that, but to get even deeper, why ask it in a parable? That also helps it out because I can have it as it's written in Luke and his disciples asked him saying, what might this parable be? And then I can use the and from Matthew and said to him, why speak you to them in parables? So I want to save the and said No, okay, because in Luke it says they're asking him, what might this parable be? Well, they're both questions. What is this parable? Why speak it to them? Matthew says they said, why speak it to him? Luke says they're asking, what might this parable be? I think we're just going to keep it like that. They're asking him, what might this parable be? And said, why speak it to them in parables? So I'll use to him now, came to him, and asked, saying, yeah. Mark asked, okay, so there is another asked from Mark. So I could put asks twice. Maybe I could put all three. And asked of him the parable, saying, what does this parable mean? And said, why speak it to them in parables? I could put all three. Could I do that? Should I do that? And asked of him the parable. I could do that. Asked of him the parable, saying, what might this parable be? Or I could just combine Mark and Luke's question. Asked of him, saying from Luke, what might this parable from both be? Instead of asked of him the parable. I think it really could work if I put all three. Yeah, because it sets the scene. They're coming to him to ask a question, and then their actual words. What might this parable be? Would that be annoying? Would that be unnecessary? There is one thing about the Bible that I've always been kind of annoyed. It really rushes. It rushes through the story, and you got to really slow down to see, okay, these four words, there's a whole lot that happens. So if you're trying to speed read through the Bible, you will miss some stuff. I promise you that. Maybe I could take this opportunity to expand and give you pause. I, I, I probably always do that because I keep as many words as I can, unless it doesn't work. I think I'm going to stick with all these words. So I'm going to put came to him. I need to save and said from Matthew for later. So they came to him. I can't say asking. They that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. You know what? I don't think it would work to say the disciples came to him and also asked of him. The disciples came to him and asked of him. It would make more sense to just say the disciples came to him and asked what might this parable be. Or the disciples came and asked of him what might this parable be. Yeah. It would be better only once. The disciples came to him. 
yeah, but still asked is past tense, so I'd have to have an and. They asked. Uh, came and asked. I have to say came and asked, or I could just leave it out. Instead of having three, I could say came to him, asked, because Luke says asked him, instead of came to him, saying. Ah, uh, it's so confusing. If I just move an and over, that might fix everything. Should I do that? I'm going to do that. I'm going to move an and over. I don't like it, but it'll make it work. His disciples that were about him with the twelve from Matthew came. Now, from Luke, the very first and at the beginning. And I already used his disciples. Now I'm going to view came and asked. From Luke, not from Matthew, Mark asked of him. Yes, yeah, so it's Mark and Luke. Asked him in Luke, saying. But in Mark it says, asked of him the parable, said to him. So I'll just have and said, why speak to them at the end, after the first question. I'm going to put this introduction of him. So of is only Mark. Of him is all three. Now I'm going to finish up with that introduction from Mark. The parable. The parable. That's the end of Mark. He expounded all things to his disciples. That I will add in there. But from Luke saying, what might this parable be? That I need to put. So now only Luke, comma, space, saying. What might this parable be? And he said, that's all it is left in Luke. Mark is just, and he said to them, so now it's pretty much just Matthew, and said, Matthew, and said, why speak you to them in parables? You know what? Why speak you to them in parables would fit better with the earlier question, what might this parable be, if I take out the said? Because it already says, his disciples that were about him with the twelve came and asked of him the parable, saying, what might this parable be? So there's no reason to then say, and said, why speak you to them in parables? I could take out that second said, then just have, and, why speak you to them in parables? That would make it flow way better, so I'm going to do that. He answered and said to them, and he said to them, Luke, and he said, okay. No, he expounded all things to his disciples. That's what I have to put. And he expounded all things and said to them. I'm not going to put disciples again. Since I said earlier, his disciples that were about him with the twelve... And I don't want to repeat it unnecessarily from verse 34. His disciples, I'll exchange that for them. Which is available in Matthew and Mark. And I'll say this, disciples is now all three. And his is Mark and Luke, so it's dark yellow. And he expounded all things and said and he, so I have to have and twice, and I have to use and he before expounded, and he said, okay, so Mark and Luke, and he, Matthew is just, he answered and said, so and is Mark, Luke, he is all three, 
and then expounded all things is Mark only. And then instead of to his disciples, it'll be and said to them. So Anne said, we answered. So I'll use expounded all things instead of answered because that's way better than just the answered. Expounded all things is fine. Anne said from Matthew, Mark just said, Luke he said. So and now is only from Matthew, said from all three to them. That's Matthew. Mark from earlier to them. Mark later, 34. Expanded all things to his disciples. So two is there. So the rest of these are Matthew, Mark. To them. 